If you're looking for a niche that's monetizable and will go viral, then this is the video for you. In this video, I'll show you exactly how we're going to tap into a viral niche by completely redefining our content to stand out. I'm going to be honest with you here. If you're not willing to take action, then this video isn't for you. However, if you wanna be the top 1% and actually get started, then listen up. Look at this YouTube channel. This account is almost at 2 million subs and they have gained over 145 million total views. Now I can see the comments already. This niche is saturated. In a few seconds, I'll explain exactly how we're going to stand out in this niche. Trust me, this will blow your mind. However, for now, I will show you this channel, Social Blade. As you can see on Social Blade, this account is making thousands every single month from this YouTube channel. If we head back to the YouTube channel, however, you can see that their videos are actually quite basic. They just consist of still images. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to make this content 10 times better than this channel. And this is exactly how we're going to stand out in this niche, by simply being better than the competition. That sounds like a challenge, but trust me, if you watch this video all the way through, you'll be a complete expert on exactly how to make this content for yourself. All right, if you really wanna be in the 1%, then let's get to work. Let's generate some video ideas. However, first, I wanna talk about my school community. If you guys are struggling to go viral on social media, then this is the community for you. Check out this video's description. Also in this video's description is a Google Doc. If you're smart, and realize that time is money, then this will save you so much time as it includes everything we're going to use in this video. The first thing we're going to do is think of some video ideas. As we just said, time is money, and that's why we're going to use ChatGPT to save us time. Once you're on the AI, I'm going to start by asking it for 10 video ideas in the motivation niche. I'm going to specify that these are stories, as this will allow the AI to generate them for us. ChatGPT is literally a hack as we can use it every day to generate content. As you can see, the EA is given us a list of video ideas for us to use. I like this one, so I'm gonna copy it. I'm now gonna paste it back into the AI and ask ChatGPT to generate us a 5,000 character video script about this video idea. Don't worry about copying the prompt from the screen as I have left it in the Google Doc for you to copy. This part will take some time, so I'll skip to when it's done. As you can see, the AI has left us with the video script. Unfortunately, it has all these prompts that we don't need, so I'm going to ask it to remove them, leaving just the raw script so that we can generate voiceover much more easily. Once again, I'll skip to when this is done. We now have our script. Now, before we generate our voiceover, we need to create some Leonardo image prompts. I'll ask the AI to generate also prompt for every three seconds of our video. This is because any longer than three seconds per scene will result in our viewer getting bored. Once again, the prompt will be in the Google Doc, and once again, I'll skip to when the generation is done. Now that we have that image prompts, let's turn these into actual images. Leave this tab open, and to do the image generation, I'm going to use Leonardo.a. Head to Leonardo through the link in the Google Doc. Once you're on Leonardo, hit the image creation button in the middle of the screen. Once the next page is loaded, head to the top right and toggle the switch below legacy mode. What this will do is it will allow us to save credits as the normal mode makes you generate four images at a time. Now that we're in legacy mode, we want to adjust some settings. We'll stop. You want to go ahead and pause this video and change the settings of everything that I've put a circle around here. So change the generation model, the resolution, and make sure you're generating one image at a time. With the settings done, head back to chat GPT. Once on chat GPT, find a first image prompt and copy it. Now head back to Leonardo, find the text box at the top of the page and paste it into the box. Once your prompt is in place, hit generate and the AI will begin generating our first image. This takes some time, so I'll skip to when it's ready. As you can see, we now have an image of a character waking up out of bed. It looks very realistic, and I'm happy with how our character looks. If you're happy with your character, we need to make sure that we generate the same character every time. In order to do this, hover over the image and hit these two arrows here. On the next page, you wanna hit this drop down here and select the character style option. Once this new setting has appeared, make sure the strength is set to medium. What this will do is it will ensure that we generate the same character in all our images. With this setting in place, you want to go ahead and copy over the rest of your prompts. As you can see, the AI generated me the same character in the next photo. So go ahead, copy over the prompt from ChatGPT, paste into Leonardo, 
and generate all your images. This obviously takes some time, so I'll skip to when it's done. As you can see, we now have all that images and I think they look really good. Now, in order to make our content better than the channel that I showcased at the start of the video, we're going to add some movement to our images. Hit this back button in the top left of Leonardo. Once on the next page, head just below it and click personal feed. You should now see all the images you generated. You want to scroll down and find the first one that we're going to use in our video. Click it, and once the next page is loaded, you want to find and click this image to motion button. On the next page, you want to set the generation strength to three. Now hit generate. You want to repeat this process for every single one of our images. Now if you're on a free plan, you might run out of credits. There will also be a watermark on your images. To get around this, it's only $10 to upgrade, and I think it's worth it. All right, you can now see that all of our animated images have been generated. I think these look incredible, and it's crazy that we've made these with only a few clicks. Now you wanna go ahead and download every single image that we've got so far. With our images done, we can move over to the next step of the video. Real quick, I wanna talk about my school community. If you guys wanna know exactly how to go viral on social media, then check it out. It also contains a spreadsheet of over 100 niches for you to try. I'll see you inside. We now need to start generating our voiceover. Head back to ChatGPT and scroll up until you find our script. Once you have it, copy it to your clipboard. Now head to the Google Doc and open up the link for 11 Labs. Once we're on 11 Labs, we need to get a deep voice for our video. Head to Voices in the top left and select the voice library. Once the next page is loaded, you can see that there is a list of voices to choose from. You wanna scroll around and hit sample on some voices you would like to try. As this is the motivation niche, I think that a deep voice would be very fitting. Once you have found a voice you like, hit add to voice library, give it a name, and when you're done, head back to speech on the left. Once back on this page, Hit this drop down, which will bring up a list of voices. Scroll around and find the one you just added, then click it to select it. With our voice selected, head to the text box and paste in the script that we got from ChatGPT. Once it's in place and you're happy with it, hit generate speech in the bottom right. Once Eleven Labs has done its thing and the voiceover is generated, download it and we can move over to the next step. We now need to get some background music for our video. Now we obviously don't wanna use copyright music as our channel will get striked. To get around this, head to this website called Pixabay. Once on here, hit this music button below the search bar. Once you're on the music tab, I'm going to search for motivation. This should come up with a few sounds, so try them. You want about two or three to match the video's length. So just download two or three once you've found ones you like. It's now time to edit our video as we've gathered everything we need. In order to edit, I'm going to go ahead and use this editor called CapCut. Once you're on the editor and have hit new project, Start by importing everything we're going to use for our video. The first thing we want to do is add our voiceover. Once it's on the timeline, we want to zoom in on our voiceover. And as you can see, does these gaps of dead air that we need to remove. In order to remove them, hit B on your keyboard, and this will bring up a splitting tool. Split the voice over either side of the dead air like this. Once that's done, hit A on your keyboard to bring up the select tool. Select the dead air and delete it. Once that's done, drag your voiceover back together. We now need to insert our images. Find the first one and drag it onto the timeline like so. Now, as we mentioned earlier in this video, we need to change the scene every three seconds to avoid our viewer from getting bored. So what you wanna do is place the cursor at three seconds and then hit W to delete everything after the cursor. This will leave your first image at three seconds long. As you may have guessed, we need to repeat this process for all your images. This takes a minute so I'll fast forward the video and skip when it's done. Now your timeline should look something like this, with all our images added up until they reach then end of the voiceover. The next thing that I'll add to our video will be some transitions. Had two transitions in the top left of Cap, and I'm going to search for a fade transition. The one I'm looking for is called Black Fade, as it adds a really clean fade effect to our video. Once you've found it, drag it between your first and second image. Once it's in place, head to the top right, set the duration to 0.3 seconds. With the duration changed, I'm going to hit this apply to all button, as this adds the transition in between every image and saves us a lot of time. As you can see, there's this smooth fade in between all the images, and I think it looks really good. The next thing that I'll add to our video will be an adjustment. Hit adjustment in the top left of CapCut. On this page, find the custom adjustment and add it to your track. Once it's in place, the first thing you need to do is extend its duration to last the entire video. Once that's done, head to the top right of CapCut. It's here that we're going to change a few settings. The first thing that I'll do is increase the saturation to around 15. 
This will make our video more vibrant. The next thing I'll do is lower the exposure just a little bit. Once that's done, scroll down and change the vignette to around 20. This will darken the colors and make our video look really clean. With our adjustment done, the last thing we need to do is add captions. Head to text in the top right, then hit auto captions, then hit generate. This is a CapCut Pro feature. However, if you don't have Pro, I'll show a way to generate the captions for free in a second. Once your captions are done, we want to make some changes to them. Head to the top right and hit templates. Now scroll through and find one you like that you think is fitting for our video. You can customize the captions a bit more if you like. If you're done, hit export in the top right to export our video. When exporting your video, make sure it's in 1080p and 60fps. Our video's done, but keep watching as I'll show you how to generate captions if you haven't already and create our thumbnail. In order to get the captions for free, you need to download this video editor called VN. Link will be in the Google Doc. Once you're on VN, you need to import your exported video from CapCut. Once it's imported, drag it onto the timeline like so. Now hit auto captions in the bottom left in order to generate your auto captions. It will take some time, but once they are in place, you can use the app to customize them how you like. Once you're happy with them, export your video. Without video fully done, I'm not show you how I create a thumbnail in literally five seconds. Head back to Leonardo and save one of the images that we created earlier. Make sure it's not moving, it's just a still image. Once you have it saved, head over to Canva using the link in the Google Doc. Once you're on Canva, hit create a design in the top right. Under the drop down, you wanna scroll down and select YouTube thumbnail. On the next page, drag in our image that we just saved from Leonardo. I'm going to fast forward my thumbnail creation process, but to sum it up, I'm firstly going to make sure the image fills the full screen. I'm next going to add some text that basically says something very brief about the video. I've made mine very quickly, so I'm sure you can make yours 10 times better than this. Once your thumbnail is done, save it. All that's left to do is post the video and stay consistent. That's all for today's video. Remember to check out my school community to go viral on TikTok. Bye.